we look at strategic behavior in kind of a simple way. So the example I want to go through is imagine that we've got two firms, Coke and Pepsi, and each company is trying to establish whether they should go with a high or low advertising budget. So each company, Coke, has a choice of high or low. So we're just using this generically. They're going to blow their water. They're going to not spend a lot, kind of cheap out. And Pepsi's thinking the same thing. And so the profit that they make is dependent not only upon their choice, but the choice that their competitor makes. That's that interdependence of firms that I was mentioning, kind of the strategic behavior. And so if both companies go high, then Coke will make 20 million and Pepsi will make 20 million. If both companies go low and they kind of save their money on advertising, then Coke will make 50 million and Pepsi will make 50 million. And if Pepsi goes high and Coke goes low, Coke's going to lose out and Pepsi's going to hit the jackpot. So they're going to just capture all of the market because they hired Justin Bieber and Coke just <laughs> cheaped out and didn't do anything. And vice versa is true too. If Coke goes with the high budget, they're going to make $100 million and Pepsi's going to make zero. All right, so what I've just depicted here are the elements needed to analyze a game. And this is in a reduced form um, uh, format. And this is called the payoff matrix. And here our payoffs are profits, but it's um, more general than that. We can talk about other kinds and I'll probably go through um, some other games as well. And within each cell, the first entry is always the player to the left. So this, in this case here, is Coke's payoff. And the second entry is the player up top, whoever that is. In this case, it's Pepsi's. These are our agents in our most general name for them. So we have two agents. So in this case our agents are companies, um, but they could be individuals, they could be governments, uh, could be anything. Any particular agent that would be operating in the economy. And here are their actions or their choices. So to choose high or to choose low, these are their choices or actions. <clears throat> so these are the elements that are in place when we put the game in this type of format. Um, what you'll see in your text is that this can be expanded into N choices and N um, for each agent. So this could be 4x4 four four matrix or 5x5, five five, so it can get more complicated. Um, we can also get into there being more than just two agents. So this is a simple two by two, two agent model. All right, any questions so far on the setup?